standard 10 mathematics part 2 chapter trigonometry in video number 20 in solving practice set problems so to move on with the practice set problems in trigonometry the problem says prove that the left hand side sec raised to 4a into bracket 1 minus sin raised to 4a minus 2 tan square a should be shown equal to 1 so towards our left hand side we have a big expression which has to be shown equal to only 1 on your right hand side so let's pen down the left hand side so our left hand side expression sec raised to 4a into bracket 1 minus sin raised to 4a minus 2 tan square a now we know children wherever we have the inverse ratios let's write down or replace them with the basic so sec raised to 4a can be written as 1 upon cos raised to 4a the expression in the bracket resembles a square minus b square how let's write down 1 minus sin raised to 4a can be written as 1 square minus sin square the whole square so a square minus b square gives us a minus b into a plus b so let's substitute 1 minus sin raised to 4a can be written as 1 minus sin square a into 1 plus sin square a minus 2 tan is written as sin upon cos but over here it is tan square a so it will be replaced as sin square a upon cos square a now children again if we look into our left hand side 1 minus sin square a resembles a trigonometric identity which is that identity sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 so what is 1 minus sin square a it will be definitely equal to cos square a so let's replace it so we here we have 1 upon cos raised to 4a 1 minus sin square a is replaced by cos square a into 1 plus sin square a minus 2 sin square a upon cos square a does anything get reduced definitely cos square a gets reduced with cos square a and you are left with only in the denominator cos raised to 2a so we have 1 plus sin square a upon cos square a minus 2 sin square a upon cos square a looking at both the terms we see that the denominators are the same so let's equalize them and put them under a common denominator so over here we get the common denominator as cos square a and in the numerator 1 plus sin square a the first numerator as it is minus 
2 sin square a. Do we have like terms over here? So that we can subtract or add them. Yes. Plus 1 sin square a minus 2 sin square a. These are like terms. So let's simplify them depending upon the sign before them. So we are plus 1 sin square a minus 2 sin square a plus 1 minus 2 will give us only minus 1 sin square a plus 1 sin square a minus 2 sin square a. How do we simplify? Sin square a you can take out common into bracket plus 1 minus 2 gives us plus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Let's open the bracket plus into minus is minus. 1 sin square a can be just written as sin square a. So over here we have 1 minus sin square a upon the denominator as it is. Again, thus the expression in the numerator resemble a trigonometric identity. Definitely, sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. So 1 minus sin square a is equal to cos square a. So let's replace the numerator by cos square a upon cos square a. Let's reduce. Banza. So we are left with only 1 which is equal to a right hand sign. So we have proved children that starting with the left hand side we were able to reach to a simplified step where the answer is equal to or is telling with the right hand side in the given problem. So over here we can just say that left hand side is equal to our right hand side. Therefore, second is to 4a minus 1 minus 7 is to 4a minus 2 times 12a is equal to 1 as we have proved it. So we started with the left hand side and ultimately reached to a step where the last step tallies with your right hand side answer. So children, to move on in trigonometry, let's see the problem penned on the board. Prove that the left hand side expression is equal to the right hand side expression. What is on the left hand side? Tan raised to 4 theta plus tan squared theta should be shown equal to the right hand side expression that is 6 raised to 4 theta minus 6 squared theta. So first let's mark the left hand side as well as the right hand side. To begin with the left hand side Let's write down the expression tan raised to 4 theta plus tan square theta. If we observe minutely, we can see the square term is common. Which is the square term? Tan square theta because tan raised to 4 theta can be expressed as tan square theta into tan square theta. So over here, removing the common term that is tan square theta inside the bracket. The uncommon terms tan square theta into tan square theta will give us the first term that is tan raised to 4 theta. Penning down the same sign that is plus tan square theta is already out. So inside you are left with 1 because tan square theta into 1 is tan square theta. Now children do we have any expression or any trigonometric identity where you can substitute for tan square theta plus 1 as well as save our purpose of getting the term 6 square theta which is required on the right hand side. Definitely it says that 
tan square theta as it is into tan square theta plus 1 is 6 square theta. How were we able to substitute this? Because of the trigonometrical identity which says that tan square theta plus 1 is equal to 6 square theta. Again, looking into the first term on the left hand side, that is tan square theta. What is tan square theta? Let's use the same trigonometric identity. Tan square theta will be equal to 6 square theta plus 1 goes on the other side, becomes minus 1. So the same trigonometric identity can be reused in the next step as tan square theta is equal to 6 square theta minus 1 into 6 square theta as it is. Now children, let's open the bracket and see what we get. 6 square theta into 6 square theta is sec raised to 4 theta minus 1 into 6 square theta is 6 square theta. Is it equal to our right hand side? Definitely. It is equal to the expression given on the right hand side. So therefore we can conclude that left hand side is equal to a right hand side. That is tan raised to 4 theta plus tan square theta is equal to our right hand side that is sec raised to 4 theta minus 6 square theta. This is proved. So children, we use only one trigonometric identity to prove the left hand side is equal to the right hand side.